Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm gonna explain why we use the Edison 3 wire or split phase power supply to our homes and exactly what that means for safety and functionality. I've already tackled how electricity gets transmitted to our homes over power lines from the generation stations. And in this video, I want to talk about what happens once it arrives in our neighborhood and how it gets transformed down to voltages that we can use in our home. Now, if you're not familiar with the setup that we have in North America, it's called Edison three wire or a split phase system. And what that means is that it starts with a three phase distribution system. As we talked about in the last video, uh, three wires on every power pole, three different phases that are transmitted along the power grid. And then in our neighborhood, it gets transformed down from 13,000 or 100,000 or 200,000 volts down into what we use in our homes, which is 120 and 240. What that really means for us is that we have one phase of a three phase transformer and that phase has a potential of 240 volts. But instead of using it as 240 volts alone, we split that phase. We put a center tap or connection in the middle of the phase, right in the middle of that transformer coil, and the potential from each of the outside edges of the coil to that center tap is 120 volts. So we either get 120 volts from the center tap or we also call it a neutral, to each of the extremities of the coil, which we call the live wires. So we get 120 volts to one live wire, 120 volts to the other live wire, or if we go from live wire to live wire, we get 240 volts. Thus, in our homes, we have both of those voltages available to us. So why do we bother to do that? Well, there's a couple of different reasons why it's important to use a lower voltage whenever possible. And the main reason for that is safety. A lower voltage causes a smaller shock because when we're grabbing something, a live connection with our fingers or we accidentally come in contact, the skin that we have in contact has the same resistance no matter what voltage we apply to it. And if we look at the power formula again, we find out that if you have the same resistance, but you increase the voltage, you're having more power transmitted which means if you make connection with a 120 volt circuit, you're going to have a lot less shock or a lot less power going through your fingers than you would if you connected to a 240 volt source. So when we keep that in mind, it really tells us that the lower the voltage we can have, the smaller and the less painful the shock's going to be. Now it's certainly not impossible to electrocute yourself with 120 volts, but it is a lot less likely. They always say it's not the volts, but the amps that kills you because it's the amount of current flowing through our, our internal organs, our heart or lungs or brain that are causing the real damage. And something as small as 0.1 amps or 100 milliamps is enough to be dangerous. But in most cases, when we talk about connecting a circuit accidentally through our fingers, we're not gonna be going through our vital organs so the voltage and the amount of pain that it causes is more typically the result that we're going to have instead of electrocution. One great advantage to having the 120 volt capable is that most of our devices can be powered with it and it's not going to do more than give us a bit of a painful shock if we contact it accidentally. If we ratchet that up to 240 volts, now you're getting into a very painful shock one that might bother you for the rest of the day. When we consider those things, it's important that we don't expose ourselves to more voltage than is necessary. A lot of devices that were originally created with electricity, even Thomas Edison's light bulbs, used about 100 volts. And that's why 100 volts or 120 volts is a very common voltage to us because even those early devices used a similar voltage. When we look at higher power requiring devices, things like our oven or range, or our dryer, or sometimes other things you might have in your garage, like a welder, you need that extra voltage because to get the same amount of kick or the same amount of power output, a higher voltage requires less amperage. So for example, if we needed to power something that required only 120 volts, it might need 30 or 40 amps, 
but at 240 volts, it would only need 15 or 20 for the same load because of the way the power formula is proportional with voltage and current. So that's the main reason that the two different voltages are very helpful. On the one hand, 120 volts is safer, and on the other hand, 240 volts is more capable for our high power loads. Another big reason we use the Edison three wire or split phase system is because that neutral wire that's on the center tap is more efficient than creating two separate circuits. What I mean is this, if you were to power two separate 120 volt circuits, one off one of the live legs and one off the other, you would need four wires and you would have the full current of each of those loads on that line to be used by both of those wires in each circuit and all four wires used in the two circuits would all be carrying a current. But when we add in the neutral center tapped to the two live legs, what we find is if we were to send two 120 volt circuits to one end of the house and we wanted to be able to use them independently, we could still send only one neutral wire, which cuts down the number of wires required from four to three, but it also has one extra added benefit. Because of the way power flows through each of the different circuits between one leg and the neutral and the other leg in the neutral, the currents from each of those legs cancel each other out in the neutral wire. So the end result is that one live leg and the other live leg will carry the full currents for the loads they're supplying, but the neutral wire will only carry the difference. So for example, if one circuit was carrying 15 amps and the other 10 amps, then one live leg would be carrying 15 amps, the other live leg would be carrying 10 amps, and the neutral wire would only be carrying five amps. Because of the way that works, that means that we need less wires than the other way around, and also we produce less heat because that neutral doesn't carry more than 15 amps at any time. So because we use the neutral wire, we limit the amount of current required in that neutral, and it makes the whole circuit more efficient because we're not carrying three or four wires with those full current values, we're carrying the two live wires with their full current ratings and then the neutral wire with only the difference. One last great advantage of the Edison three wire or split phase system is that it's very easy to ground that neutral or, or center tap connection to the physical earth. We know in our homes, we wanna be as safe as possible. And so we ground all of the metal systems in our home to the actual earth and that reduces the potential and it also creates a safe path to ground if one of those live legs would accidentally contact one of the metal objects in our home things like the electrical boxes or our water pipes if we have copper uh, water pipes and those things being grounded means that it immediately causes a short circuit to ground in the electrical panel and trips those breakers and instead of remaining live and being there as a shock hazard or electrocution hazard ongoing. Being able to ground the neutral of the supply means that we have a safer electrical system overall and only those live wires really have a voltage potential at any one time. I hope explaining this has cleared up your questions and maybe explained why we use the system that we have. If you still have some questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me an email and I'll be sure to answer them the best that I can. If you like these types of videos and you find them helpful, please give them a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I post Ask an Electrician videos pretty regularly and I have a bunch of other project videos as well. Send me an email or follow me on Twitter. My information is in the description below and tell your friends and family, we always love to see new names, new comments and new emails coming in from different people all the time. I hope you find these electrical videos educational and that you find they're more shockingly simple than you ever expected. Until next time, don't be afraid to be bolder.